This show is sponsored by Port Aransas Fisherman's Wharf, Brumble Seafood Co., Port Aransas Art Center, and Port Aransas Tourism Bureau and Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Road Trippin'. I'm Trevor Scott, and today we're coming to you from sunny, sandy, super family-friendly Port Aransas. You know, I bet you if you ask most Texans, they'll put Port Aransas right at the top of the list of their favorite beach destinations. So today, we're gonna show you everything there is to see and do in this beautiful island town, and we're sure you're gonna love it. Okay, okay, enough puns. Well, for now, we're officially on our beach vacation. In the next hour, we'll explore this enchanting beach town by land and by sea. We've got some more dolphins to see, don't we? We do. From must-eat meals and dining destinations. Okay. Cheers. To the best souvenir stops and delightful local shops. Water socks, flippers, hat. Can I get another cart? And we'll flex our creative muscles. It's such great colors. To support the local arts. So set your clocks to island time because Road Trip in Port Aransas starts right now. I think we're gonna need a bigger show. One of the best parts about Port Aransas is that it's an easy drive from Austin, and in no time, you're on island time. Situated on Mustang Island just east of Corpus Christi, Port Aransas is such an easy drive from Austin or Houston or San Antonio. Its proximity to Corpus Christi and waters full of fish really helped put Port A on the map. And legend has it that this stretch of Gulf Coast was a favorite haunt for pirates, and it just might hide some buried treasure. These days, with 18 miles of sandy shoreline, it has become a family-friendly paradise, a spring break getaway, and site of the world-famous sandcastle building competition, Sandfest. And this tight-knit community has come back from Hurricane Harvey stronger than ever, and we're excited to explore. Coming up on Road Trippin', here in Port Aransas, when it comes to food, you can find everything from beach baskets to fine dining and everything in between. We're checking out what's on the menu. Hope you're hungry. Here's a Road Trip Pro Tip. In Port Aransas, golf carts aren't just for golf. In fact, this is how everybody gets around everywhere. Let's go. You cannot turn a corner in Port A without seeing a golf cart, or several. On this island, it's the preferred way to get from Port A to Point B. But it's important to remember that golf carts still have to follow most of the same rules as cars. You gotta have a license, buckle that seatbelt, and definitely don't drink and drive. So have fun, but be safe. And remember on Port Aransas, there are places that golf carts can't go. So be sure to stop by the Visitor's Bureau and pick up a map. It'll show you where it's safe to drive. See ya. The Port Aransas food scene is not to be missed. With the ocean's bounty at their doorstep, of course, seafood is a staple, but variety is the catch of the day in Port A. If you want to add a touch of tiki to your Port A itinerary, you will not find a better place than Lello's Island Bar. They've got a laid back atmosphere, a great menu, and some really creative cocktails. Our table's waiting, come on. Lello is a sweet nickname for owner Virginia Scott's grandson, and this tiki-rific spot has become a daily favorite for locals and visitors alike. You can't beat their bacon cheeseburger, grilled to perfection and served on a golden sweet bun. And these honey sriracha sweet potato fries, they are spicy, sweet, and something you're going to want to order over and over. And when you're in the mood for something maybe a little lighter, this perfectly cooked tuna tucked in a warm pita with a delicious sauce will definitely hit the spot. 
Well, as you can see, Lelo's Island Bar is the perfect spot to stop for a meal. They're also known for their signature tiki drinks. I've ordered a few of their favorites right here in front of me. I'm sure you can see why they're such a hit. Yes. Also, yes. Yes is across the board. And if island vibes are what you're after with your beverage, well, it doesn't get much more tropical than these delightful drinks. You'll be feeling as light as the island breeze with the painkiller, a rum concoction with coconut, OJ, pineapple, and a dash of fragrant nutmeg. The wild Watusi comes in a custom Lelo's tiki glass filled with mango and citrus rums, peach snops, a splash of OJ, raspberry, lime, and bitters. And for that ultimate Instagram post, the mermaid water for two. You can almost hear the ocean in the shell cocktail made with coconut and spiced rums, blue caraco, lime, and pineapple juice. Add a couple gummy fish and you're ready to sip your way to paradise. Mmm, delicious. If you're in the mood for a meal that feels like home cooking but you don't want to cook, Miss K's Bistro and Catering is calling your name. Here you'll find creative takes on comfort foods like a classic club or chicken salad sandwich and gourmet goodies like a savory slice of quiche, soups, sweets, and more. Locals here in Port A love Miss K's Bistro and Catering for a gourmet, delicious quick bite at lunch. Visitors love it because you can get food that tastes like home while you're on vacation. What's popular with both crowds? These, Brian's Beach Snack Pack, which are so easy to grab and go and take to the beach. And the menu isn't all that will entice you at Miss K's. The walls of her charming cafe are filled with art. You can grab a meal to go and take home works by local artists like Steve Davis, who creates these incredible sand dollar works of art. Another thing Miss K's Bistro and Catering is known for, these delicious take and bake casseroles. These are perfect for visitors who might be staying at a beach house and don't want to cook or go out to a restaurant or just busy local families. You can take these, throw them in the oven, and have a homemade meal without having to make it. I think Miss K, I'm going to go for a King Ranch casserole. Ah, oh, perfect. My favorite. Oh, and don't forget dessert. Here in Port Aransas, a favorite destination is Cinnamon Shores, and nestled right here in the heart of this community is Lisa Bella's. They offer an elevated dining experience with a really beautiful atmosphere, an extensive wine list, incredible cocktails, and of course, a must-experience menu. Named from the legend of a magical mermaid encounter on Mustang Island, Lisa Bella's reflects that waterside whimsy in their elevated menu. A star of that menu is the Red Snapper Belle Meunier. Made with a wild mushroom white wine butter sauce, mashed potatoes, and perfectly cooked crisp asparagus. Smaller bites include crab cakes, fresh oysters, and honey glazed quail knots for a succulent, shareable dish. Plus, they have live music on an outdoor stage and plenty of patio seating. So if you're planning a date night or a special celebration dinner, look no further than Lisa Bella's. What a perfect way to end the day in Port Aransas. Hungry for more Port Aransas restaurant options? Be sure to check out the Venetian hot plate for a touch of Italy on the island. For a delicious meal on the docks, Virginia's on the Bay has your meal with a view. Roosevelt's at the historic Tarpon Inn for seafood, steaks, and unique daily specials. If your crew is begging for brunch, head to Tortuga's Saltwater Grill. La Playa Mexican Grill is the spot for great Tex-Mex and cold margaritas. Trout Street Bar and Grill offers a great menu and marina vibes. Finn's Grill and Ice House is perched on the Port Aransas Harbor where you can enjoy a memorable meal and a fabulous view. If you are searching for sushi, you'll find it at Blue Water Cowboy Saloon and Mercantile. And the Crazy Cajun is a spicy stop for Bayou flavors and boils for a crowd. Coming up on Road Trip in Port Aransas, we are about to embark on a very special fishing excursion with Fisherman's Wharf. And we're told if we're lucky, we might see a few dolphins. That's coming up. Stick around. For fans of fishing, Fisherman's Wharf is definitely the spot to come to hopefully find your perfect catch. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, they've got a tour for everyone and a couple of very special boats with a cool history. 
Well, I'm here at Fisherman's Wharf with Trey, General Manager. Uh, the moment we walked up here, Trey, I could tell this is a really special place, right? It's a very special place. Fisherman's Wharf was built in 1971 after a small loan, uh, hurricane loan after Hurricane Cecilia. And then uh, Bobby Grumbles worked here. He was one of the captains that worked here. And he acquired it in 1993. And he had a long tenure here, which, you know, Grumbles is named after him. And uh, Will Cock uh, Holdings ended up acquiring it in 2019 and what you see here was built after Hurricane Harvey. When you walk up here, one of the first the first thing I saw were these incredible boats and there's a story behind these boats. They're they're important. Uh, the boats the boats are semi famous. It, it's called the Wharf Cat and the Scat Cat, but uh, they've been around for 50 years. They both had extensive upgraded to up to 2022 standards with new propulsion systems which makes them faster, cleaner burning fuel. There's no smoke. It's all, all newer technology, new generators, all new interior, and everything has been upgraded to 2022 standards. They're almost brand new. Well, the, the Wharf Cat and Scat Cat are catamaran vessels, and uh, the, what the, the, the platform for fishing is the stability on a catamaran. It's got a 360 degree where you can stand, and it, it, it's basically when you're out there on the water, it's actually like being on an oil platform because it doesn't move. It's, it's real stable, and for people that get seasick or first time fishermen, they will really enjoy these boats because they're stable and it, it, it makes it enjoyable to fish. They're super fast, super stable. All the families want to go on them and we just want to get people out there safely, show them a good time and uh, uh, catch them a few fish and get them back here safe. Families really, this is a great family opportunity, right? It is. It, the, the types of trips we run, there's been people that's been fishing on them for 40 years. And, uh, they, and every time they come down, they see something new and they, they just, they, they really enjoy going on them and they, they have a history because some people remember their, their first kids fishing, they remember fishing them as a kid and now they're bringing their grandkids down to fish on them. I'm excited to see, let's just get on the boat and you'll tell me a little bit more about what we have. Absolutely. Ready to board? You bet. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs>
Yeah. You know, Port Aransas is, is still Port A. We're, we're a gym. Yes. Port A strong. It really is a gym on the Gulf Coast. Trey, thanks for telling us all about Fisherman's Wharf, taking us out on the water today. We've got some more dolphins to see, don't we? We do. We're going back up front and looking at dolphins. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Coming up on Road Trip in Port Aransas here at Fisherman's Wharf, while they clean your catch and pack it up for you to take home, you can come right across the way to Grumble Seafood Company and have a great meal while you wait. We're checking out the menu after the break. Here's another Road Trip Pro Tip. Don't worry about packing everything up in the car to head to Port Aransas because when you get here, Bronze Beach Rentals has everything you need for a day of fun on the beach. They rent umbrellas, resort style chairs, palapas, cabanas, beach games, and so much more. And they'll have it all set up on the beach just waiting for you. All you've got to do is show up. Oh, and wear your sunscreen. I've saved you a seat. In Port Aransas, seafood is king, and here at Grumble Seafood Company, that's what they do best. If you eat it here, it was caught here, right in these waters. So if you've had a long day of sightseeing or a fun day at the beach, this is the perfect place to come with something on the menu for everyone. Let's check it out. All right, I'm here at Grumble's with Michael, the general manager here. Thanks for having us out to this great spot. Well, thank you for coming. It it's is, a great day. It really is a great day. I mean, I, I, I imagine they're all great days here. I've got yeah. a beer in front of me. I've got the boats right out here on the water, just outside the window. This seems like a really special place in Port A, and I imagine it is. It's an incredible place. I mean, we worked really hard on the perfection of this building. Yeah. You know, our motto was to be uh, food family fun. Nice. And create like a real clean atmosphere here yeah. with all coastal fare. So what we did is our mantra was anything on our menu is going to be from those waters. That's and amazing, yeah. That was, you know, we weren't going to sacrifice anything other than that. Yeah. Uh, that's it. And when you come to an island for vacation, when you come to Port Aransas, I mean, uh, one of the, one of, well, one of the most important things for me on any vacation is eating. So it's very, very oh, for important sure. to me. But especially when you're coming to an island vacation, you do want to make sure that you're eating something that's local and fresh. And speaking of that, right there, yes. by the way, is a beautiful dish. Is this one of your favorites? This is one of our favorites. It's our signature seared tuna appetizer. Nice. It is on a bed of mixed greens with avocado, fresh avocado, cucumber. We do a creamy sriracha sauce that we make in-house, which is what is drizzled on there. Amazing. You got it medium rare, like it's really supposed to be. As it's supposed to be. And then we have our homemade in-house ponzu sauce, oh, wow. which has got a very nice tang to it. So when you mix all that together, it's it's really, really good. Oh, what a delicious dish. And of People course, rave about this. I'm sure, and actually we heard about this in another one of your dishes before we even walked in the door, which is very special. You know that's a good sign when yeah, people are already talking sign. about your food before we have it. Yeah. I think it's awesome. It's and beverages, of course, too. Local is really important to you, and I know this is a special brew. This is Nuasis Brewing Company. This is a local brewery in Corpus Christi. We do a seasonal with them, so throughout the year it changes, but this is the OG that they call, oh. which is their original. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's just, you know, a crisp American lager, basically. They're take on that. But we also have a Bloody Mary over here with our Texas veggies and yes. a peel and eat shrimp on top there. That's awesome. You can notice the uh, the glassware there is Dripping Springs. We yeah. made sure that we wanted to keep everything Texas as we yeah. can, so the vodka that we use in that is Dripping Springs vodka. A little taste of our area right down here in Port A. Yeah. That's amazing. And then the Bloody Mary mix is uh, Bloody Revolution, which nice. is based out of Austin as well. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. So. And those things matter, I think, to your average diner who comes in and, and notices that you're paying a lot of attention to things that are important to them. For sure. Uh, locals really makes a big difference. Well, you know, a big part of our clientele does come from those spots because yeah, right. we're, we're the closest closest action on the water. It's super important to be local. Well, this is just a taste of what you've got. I know that there are some really special menu items. We're actually going to hop back into the kitchen with Chef Jeff to check out some of your favorites, and we'll come back Perfect. and chat about them. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, I love cooking by the water. It's great. We take pride because everything that we have here, all our seafood, is from the Gulf. We can walk out our front door and see where we're getting our fish. It's going to be our tuna, our mahi, our shrimp, snapper, redfish. So it's pretty awesome. Everything's fresh. All right, we're going to make a mahi BLT today for y'all. We're just going to go ahead and blacken our mahi. This is our blackening seasoning. Basically, what we're going to do is build a BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato. And we have a house-made remoulade that we use here. It's our own recipe, nobody else has it. Just gonna take this off and put it on our bun. That goes on top of our house-made remoulade. Just blacken this shrimp. Dredge our green tomatoes in a buttermilk and a flour cornmeal mix. Plate those with our uh, 
spicy ranch. We'll go ahead and put the uh, shrimp skewer right on top of those. And they're ready to go. Yeah. Dredged, we just dredged our flounder and our same mixture. We're gonna cook that till it's golden brown. Gulf shrimp. And these are gonna get served with our uh, homemade slaw. And then we're gonna serve these with some french fries. And that's our fish and shrimp combo right there. Well, it's very clear to see that Chef Jeff has a really good time back in that kitchen and he takes does. his job very seriously, because look at the spread. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. So these are some of the favorites, right? This is a collection of a lot of the favorites, correct, yeah. yeah. Mahi BLT, I mean, we sell tons of those. I mean, what's not to like? No, it's I got saw- got bacon on it. Yeah, right? I mean, and I saw all the butter that went into that as well, so yes, what's not to like? There's butter on a lot of stuff. <laughs> you the remoulade as well, which comes with this, is our homemade remoulade oh, sauce, nice. which is on this particular sandwich, but yes. I've come to the conclusion that people will dip anything that you see here in that sauce. Yes. It's that good. Included, so, yeah. And then our fried green tomatoes make us completely unique because not a lot of people are doing that in this area. Yeah, this is a pretty good collection of you know some of our favorites. It sure is, and it really is just a great example of what I think probably sets Grumbles apart here in Port Aransas, right? It is. I mean, we are, once again, we are food, family, and fun. <laughs> And I mean, you can just see, you know, there's the food right there. It's yeah. incredible. The building is incredible. The atmosphere is great. The kids are running around in a courtyard. Like you said, you have the boats. There's dolphins, you know, like we had mentioned a little bit ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're out there here and there. <laughs> um, so it's just an incredible place. So come on down and see us. I mean, you know, we're ready. Excellent, you yeah. sure are. Well, we have plenty of work ahead of us yes. today. All right, thanks for having us out again. We Thank appreciate you, Michael. So Thank much. you very I appreciate much. Your time. Shout out, it's our pleasure. No worries. Coming up on Road Trip in Port Aransas, when you're ready to take a break from the beach, there's tons of great local shopping to explore. We're checking it out. Plus, we're taking you inside the Port Aransas Art Center. You definitely don't want to leave the island without visiting the Port Aransas Art Center. They showcase hundreds of local artists and they even have a, a rotating monthly exhibit so there's always something new to see. Not to mention classes and a great gift gallery. Let's check it out. Well, I have stepped into a creative's paradise. I'm here with Gary from the Port Aransas Art Center. Thanks for having me out this morning. Well, we're glad to have you guys here. When I'm on vacation, I do tend to seek out kind of the city or the town or the region's kind of creative hotspots because I think that and food, which everybody knows that about me, <laughs> those are great ways to get to know a community, right? Right. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what you do here. The Port Aransas Art Center is a creative space for a lot of reasons. We uh, are involved with over 200 artists wow. that show their work here. Uh, they are they are members of the Art Center. The bulk of those people are local coastal bend artists and that's really kind of a cool thing. We do have artists from other cities that are members that show their work here. A very important point is that the Port Aransas Art Center is a nonprofit. We feel that the Art Center's primary function in the community is an educational facility and so we try to tailor the things that we do towards that. We have a classroom space and we're teaching classes all the time and we try to tailor the classes to the general public. We also are involved in the school system in a number of different ways. We have a couple scholarship programs that we work on here. That is amazing and I, I love that because you're kind of fostering the, the creative uh, genius in both the young crowd and then really kind of keeping those sustaining artists uh, working. I think that's really cool. What kind of art will we find here? It seems to be just a beautiful selection of things to look at here. Well, we kind of represent all media, mm -hmm. everything, uh, whether it's uh, woodworking or clay or painting or photography, you'll find all of that here. We actually, this past year, we had our first fiber show ever. Oh, wow. And, and you'll see quite a few uh, fiber pieces in the gallery now that, that didn't used to be here. Why do you think art is so important in any community? as an artist yourself and as somebody who curates beautiful art as well. Why is it so important to people and for people like you to help support it? Being exposed to art on a regular basis, I think, gives people uh, a lot of ideas about things that they never really considered before, that never thought about before. And um, I think that having the opportunity to put all of this work out in front of the general public is just a wonderful, wonderful thing for us to be participating in. It really is. And it's really, it's not just a passive experience for kind of people to come in, visitors to come in and, and look at the art, but by all means, please, you can take this art, support the artists and bring a little bit of that Port Aransas creative spirit back home with you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. All of the work in here is for sale. Every month we have a new show that goes up. The show that's up right now is kind of interesting. It's called 
uh, 12 squared, and so the limitation was every piece of work, regardless of what media, had to fit into that 12 inch square. It limits you in some ways, but it frees you in a lot of ways as well, and so it's fun to see how they solve that problem. But we have a new show that goes up every month, and the first Friday of every month, we have a reception for the new show. We have uh, some people that come and play music, and we have food, and it's always a good time. That is really fun. Let's talk a little bit about some of the classes that you offer, and especially somebody who might be vacationing and wants a really fun thing to do off beach. Tell us about the classes. Well, we do have a fun thing that we, we do typically here. It's called Wine, Wine, and Design, and, and that's a class that's set up so uh, someone guides you through creating a piece of art, and there's always wine involved, so that Sold. always helps. Yeah. <laughs> Our most popular class right now is called an acrylic pour, and you're going to get to see and maybe even participate in that process here shortly. We have watercolor artists and the class on teaching people how to um, take better photographs and actually on location at the beach and stuff. We also have a higher end workshops where we have a major artist come in and teach and they typically because of their reputation and their popularity we you know make a space available for them to teach those workshops here. Gary thank you for, for letting us know a little bit more about the great work that you do. Obviously when you walk in the doors you can see how important this spot is but hearing about really how important it is to the artists and the community and the students that you serve even has been a real delight. This is definitely a must stop on your Port Aransas itinerary, friends. Don't miss it. Yeah, I'm uh, John Morris. I'm a local photographer here in Port A. Uh, moved to Port A ooh, 12 years ago and uh, kind of emerged into a second career in photography. Port Aransas Art Center is a nonprofit. We do rely on the public um, to help us grow and to do our mission. You know, we're, we're getting new artists, we're getting new classes, we're, you know, we're doing so many things. We don't have the space we need to do them as, as well as we want to do them. So as we look forward, we're um, going to be building a pottery facility. We're really excited about that. And then from there, we just are looking at our limited footprint that we have for the building and how can we expand on that. I'm fortunate I get to also volunteer here and one of the big jobs is hanging art. And, and people think, oh, you just hang it up, just one piece. No, it's one piece that requires like 10 moves. So how do we get more walls? Well, the public is, is our answer. That community is our answer that people can reach out and go, we want to be a part of that. We want, how can we help? The Art Center is incredible. I mean, it's just it's like an incubator for, for artists. It's just an amazing place. And, and people literally can walk in here and find something that they're going to fall in love with. My photography is, is almost 99% local landscape. Um, that's what I like to do. It, it, you know, it's close to my heart. I'm on the beach literally probably 300 days a year. And that's if I'm not on a boat fishing somewhere else. I tell people that, that my photos try to capture a moment in time that how I saw it and how I felt it almost more importantly at that moment. Just the ability to wake up at the beach every day. I mean, it's like, you know, people are going, hey, this is, we travel to go see Port A. And I mean, I got to travel a minute to the beach. You know, we're right there. 90% of my work seems to be sunrises. I'm just a morning person. Uh, read the paper and then go shoot in the morning and then uh, find a local restaurant for breakfast. John is a great example, just one of the many professional artists who are represented here at the Port Aransas Art Center. But they have an entire list of classes and workshops that can help inspire the artist in all of us. What is this medium exactly? This is fluid art. Oh. And just as the name says, the paint is just very fluid. I love that. All and right. Art is kind of fluid anyways, right? At least until you're done, at least for me. So I'm very glad to know that this yes. mistakes you cannot be made. You cannot make a mistake. <laughs> it's <laughs> abstract art, and I know you can do it. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Right. Thank you. All right, I want you to take the stick and drizzle this randomly. Start churning these colors together. A little on the floor. It's okay, it's an artistic space, don't worry. Good. Add some white right along the edge. Like a border, kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what you want it to do. Perfect. pretty happy with it. It's gorgeous. That's beautiful. You did good. Thank you. 
How much fun was that? I had no idea I had an artist inside me. Thank you, Port Aransas Art Center, for bringing it out. You can, of course, check out Vanessa's classes and lots of other fun classes on their website. There's a great way for you to also donate and support their mission there. Be sure you also follow them on social media for great events and classes. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, one of my favorite parts of any vacation, the shopping. Make sure to visit their great gift gallery. Bring home a local piece of Port Aransas art. For those moments in between the beach when you're looking for a little shade and shopping, Port A has plenty of local businesses to support. Shopping is a fun part of any vacation, but especially a beach vacation. So if you're looking for a true one-stop shop for everything beach related, look for the lighthouse and you'll find the Islander. Here you'll find 12,000 square feet of everything beach vacation. It's a classic island souvenir shop with cute shirts, kids clothes, beach shoes, boogie boards, and more. You can even customize your own Port Aransas keepsake shirt from hundreds of unique designs. All right, sunscreen, beach bag, inner tube, backup inner tube, water noodles, beach toys, water socks, frisbee, flippers, sunglasses, hat. Boy, when the Islander says they have everything you need for a beach vacation, they really mean it. Can I get another cart, Bruce? What once was a charming beach cottage on a seashell road is now Ragdoll Boutique, known by locals and visitors as the cutest boutique in Port A. And when we take you inside, you'll see why. Ladies looking for a great dress to wear on a night out or to brunch with the girls, they know that Ragdoll is the top spot. This boutique is full of fashion, accessories, and one of the warmest welcomes on the island. So be sure to stop by Ragdoll Boutique when you're in Port Aransas and tell them Road Trippin' sent you. You can shop for cute clothes and gifts and souvenirs, and you can support a local family-owned business while you're at it. It's a win-win. And if you're looking for one-of-a-kind items, really great gifts, and even local art, then you have to stop by Lisa Mayo Interior Design and Lifestyle Boutique. Because as you can see, it is full of beautiful things everywhere you look here in this charming island shop. Lisa Mayo truly has curated a one-of-a-kind shopping experience in Port Aransas. Her store is a feast for the senses with thoughtful beach-focused gifts, beautiful housewares, linens, jewelry, and chic furniture. And if you want to bring some of those Port A beach house vibes back to your space, Lisa Mayo offers full-service interior design and can create custom looks to ship right to your home. Still looking for that perfect piece or meaningful memento to bring home from Port A? Explore these other great local businesses. Joe D's Etc. offers coastal comfort with women's clothing, shoes, and accessories. For beach chic looks, Coastal Closet offers clothing for men, women, and kids, plus home furnishings and great gifts. Browse the racks at Bella Bella Boutique for stylish hats, jewelry, shoes, and more. And Island Woman Boutique is ready to dress the Islander in every woman. Tropical styles, shoes, and great gifts. Greetings from Port Aransas. Don't go anywhere. There's more road tripping coming up after this quick break. Welcome back to Road Trippin' from Port Aransas. I'm here with Brett, who's from the Tourism Bureau here in Port Aransas, which for an island town, a destination like this, that is quite the job. It is very much a dream place. <laughs> and we have spent this past hour just having so much fun, especially with your guidance, kind of looking at some of the great spots and some of the highlights of Port Aransas. And we've had such a great time. There's definitely a spirit here, and I think that really probably kind of speaks to what you're really going for at the Tourism Bureau here. Our residents all kind of love the fact that uh, we, we are a tourism town. It's what brought us here initially as residents, yeah. and we all want to help people out, and people are here for the same reasons we're all here. You know, respect one another, but yeah. also have a great time and just enjoy life. And the minute you come across that ferry or you come across the causeway, you just feel that sense of relief and, and all of a sudden it's like, like you're in paradise. Yeah, that's a great point and it's so true. When you finally come across the causeway or you smell that sea air, there is a sense there. And what's fun to me is that I think that people probably have been experiencing that for a long time. We've got parents who are bringing their kids and they came as kids and that, that whole aspect of generations enjoying a Port Aransas is something really special. Absolutely. I mean, we kind of started out as a fishing village um, that turned it into a quick fishing village tourism town. You know, back when Roosevelt was president, he came here and fished. You've got Got folks that have lived here in Port A for four or five generations and really made this a place for generations to come. So sometimes it's folks coming for the first time um, and starting a new tradition and other times it's folks that have come back 
every year for their summer vacation. It's, it's great to get notes from visitors from 1950s and they share maps with us about what the island used to look like oh, and wow. how their dad or their grandpa brought them to this place and how they have continued that tradition and wanted to share. That's really, really special and I sense that, you know, I get to come every single summer to Port Aransas with a big group of friends and we love it so much, but I, I can't help but think, you know, this is a year-round destination. Um, obviously in season there is so much to do here, but all year long Port Aransas has offerings for families and visitors. That's right. I mean, we have great fall season. Um, mm. the, the September, October, November time frames are usually perfect weather. The beach is still uh, very swimmable and warm weather. But even when it turns a little bit chillier, you know, the holiday traditions here in Port A are anchored in a uh, really steep tradition uh, with things like the Holiday Lighted Boat Parade. Oh, cool. We do some sand sculpturing with Santa Claus. <laughs> of course, a lot of families come down to celebrate the holidays here and do their whole multi-generational stay in a big home. I think I like the idea of going out to swim on the beach much more than maybe build a snowman. No offense yes. to the snow people out there, but it sounds like a good time. Well, what do you see is kind of next for Port Aransas? It's a busy town, a growing town. I'm sure you're able Evolving. What is in the future? We've really grown a lot since um, really Harvey was a, a point for us. It was really devastating to the island. A lot of things shifted and a lot of opportunities came up and, and development and people invested in Port A for creating what we are today. A lot of things are being added this year in terms of overlooks and fishing piers uh, for additional amenities. New boardwalks are being added to the nature preserve, so they're going to be even better than they were you know, pre-Harvey. And uh, it's going to continue to be a place that people travel to and flock to for no matter what the season. Many years to come. That is the hope, of course, and that's why we've had such a good time in Port Aransas. We hope everybody at home has had the opportunity to see what a special place this is. So I, I just got to say at the Tourism Bureau, get ready, because these people are, they're going to fall in love. They're going to be here. We're ready. <laughs> Excellent. Brad, thank you so much. Thank you. Here's another road trip pro tip. If you're planning on taking the ferry to get to Port Aransas, which is really fun, depending on the season, there can be quite the line. But all you have to do is check their website on the way, and you can check wait times so you know which route is right for you. Stick around, there's more road tripping from Port Aransas coming up after the break. If you want to make a morning walk along the beach part of your daily routine where every day is Sunday, why not try living island life? Coming up on tomorrow's show, we meet the husband and wife realty team who move from Georgetown to Port A to help others find the beach home of their dreams. They'll tell you why Port Aransas is a great place to visit and an even better place to live. Well, it's time for our Port Aransas beach trip to come to an end. But we have had such a good time exploring this island town. Here's a look back at some of the places we featured so you can plan your own road trip and adventure. And remember, you can watch our Port Aransas Road Trip and Special and all of our Road Trip and Specials at RoadTripandTV.com and CBSAustin.com. And make sure you're following us on social media too. Well, from the beach, I'm Trevor Scott, and we'll see you next time. No time in you know it, and time by. Well, I got sand in my socks, you guys. Delicious, not just a pretty face. <laughs>